Welcome back. It's the final weekend of Coast Guard's May Day Rescue Appeal, which happens every year throughout the country in the month of May. But closer to home, a group of volunteers from the Canterbury Coast Guard team are also giving back, removing graffiti one tag at a time. More on that shortly, but with me now is Cheryl Moffat, the manager of Coast Guard Southern Rescue, and Greg Skeen, who is the president of Coast Guard in Canterbury. There we go. Welcome to you both. Thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate it. It's been quite a busy month then for you guys. Yeah, what's been all, what's been ahead? Do you want to talk about the appeal for us? Yeah, it's been really great. Um, there's been lots of volunteers and lots of people all around the country helping us out, and um, the fundraising is going very, very well. Most people um, are making donations. We're encouraging them to go onto our website, coastguard.co.nz, and make donations. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, That's a bit of a change too to what people would be normally used to with yeah. like buckets and stuff on that. Do you want to mm. talk a bit more about that? Why, why is that? Well, um, we ask a huge amount of our volunteers already in terms of the amount of training they have to do and then all the rescues and stuff like that. And so we felt that rather than go out and shake buckets, and people don't necessarily carry cash anymore. I mean, most of us use our cards and things like that. So we thought we'd focus our efforts more on encouraging people to go to the website, make a donation, and um, Greg and his team uh, doing some other stuff to perhaps give back a little bit in a different way. Absolutely. I just mm. want to talk first before mm. we go to Greg mm. about the mm. um, graffiti and stuff. I want to talk about uh, yeah, exactly what you guys do for the people at home. What, 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 what do you guys actually do? Well, Coast Guard's a charity that um, provides marine search and rescue in New Zealand. We're the primary marine search and rescue organisation for the for the country. We get about 15% of our funding from government and the rest of it comes from donations and grants and things like that. Mainly, um, we operate in, uh, as, um, through 70 volunteer units around the country on the, and also um, on lakes and coastal locations. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about the training side of things mm -hmm. too because there's a lot of percentage of that yeah, is, is training, isn't it? Do you want to talk a bit more about that? Well, yeah. When I looked at the hours that Greg and his team and the other teams around, we've got three groups that operate in Canterbury, um, they spent over 16,000 hours you know, giving to the community wow. last year and they spent 37% of that time training. It's a lot of time training. It, it, it's a fair bit of work you have to do Absolutely. to be qualified. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that then um, with you, Greg, actually, about training. What kind of things do they go through? Um, there's relevant levels. You start off as a trainee, you learn the basics, safety, so you don't become a hazard to the crew. Um, and from there you um, progress through the different levels. It's all relevant training. It's all um, good, exciting. Um, if you're a person who's a boaty, you actually learn relevant boaty stuff like how to read a chart, how to navigate in safe waters, how not to. Yeah. become a statistic. Absolutely. So it's yeah. very, very relevant. Very, very important very, indeed, very, very definitely. Um, I want to talk about the, um, I guess, event that's happening this mm -hmm. weekend with your group of volunteers. What, sure. what exactly do you do? Uh, removing graffiti, a little bit different to, yeah. Yeah, slightly different. Yeah. Um, how would you put it? Um, I think we're blessed, like as the volunteers, we've got great people like Cheryl and that that support us, and the community is amazing um, with the way they support us. Coast Guard's a huge family, like over two and a half thousand, you know, different people, and we, yeah, we sort of see things a little bit differently. So from our unit's point of view, we kind of went, let's not rattle a bucket and say, you know, please you know, give money to us. So we went out to the local community and said, who needs help? Um, we've done the gardening job. We've had other stuff we were trying to do, mm. which weather prevented. But this weekend's the, the thing for the council. Council's yes, hugely generous to us. Yeah. They give us a lot of money every year. And we emailed um, Leon Dalzell and said, we'd like to give something back because you give to us. Nice, and you're doing the graffiti thing. What, what, for the what, what kind of um, areas are you guys looking at? Uh, in the east side, um, yep. I'm picking up the equipment tomorrow, and they'll tell me um, the exact location we're going to. But um, basically, yeah, we just want to go out and do something decent in the community. Absolutely. Um, How many volunteers have you got that's a part of this? There's 27 members of 27. our unit. Wow. So you're yep. hoping to achieve quite a lot over that space yeah, of time? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, we've got a few, because it's a long weekend, we've got a few people away, but we do have a number of people coming along still. Absolutely. And, um, that's just cool. Just a great way to give back to Definitely. Well, thank you so us. much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. That's Cheryl and Greg from Coast Guard Canterbury.